Let me explain this for Nigerians to understand. Our own national chairman, Mr. Omar Damago, our own national secretary, Senator Samuel Ayao, who are supposed to defend the interests of the PDP, who are supposed to defend the interests of the party, in a case that the court has stopped the pro wicked sack lawmakers from removing a PDP governor illegally, from destabilizing a PDP controlled government, national secretary and national chairman of that political party goes to court with the same pro wicked sack APC lawmaker insisting that an appeal to vacate that order and give legitimacy to these sack lawmakers so that they can make a futile attempt again to impeach a PDP governor. I don't, I don't know whether Nigerians understand the, 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 what, what I'm talking about. That a national chairman of a political party and a national secretary of a political party in a case that the court has protected the interests of their party-controlled government and said those sack lawmakers who left their party and have lost their seat, cannot make any attempt to impeach the governor or serve any impeachment notice on the chief judge of the river state. The political party, led by Damago and Samuel Anyangu, goes to court and joins in filing and supporting an appeal so that that order can be removed, so that the PDP governor can be removed. That is abomination of the highest order. I didn't know I was going to come back to these issues. I thought that sanity has returned to that sectorate. I thought that order has returned to that place. But, but look at it. Because of what? In return for what? What kind of porridge? What, what is it? And that's what we've been calling people, governors, everybody. We left these guys at the headquarters. And they are busy burying this political party. Look at, look at this madness. Look at this madness. From a political party. Against his own governor. Because of what? Ladies and gentlemen, what we are witnessing here is a calculated and deliberate attempt by the acting PDP national chairman and secretary to sell out the PDP by insisting on the court hearing an already withdrawn appeal. They are effectively working against the party interests and aligning themselves with forces that seek to weaken and destroy the PDP. This case summarizes that a court order has stopped APC members from illegally making moves to impeach a PDP governor. But the national chairman and secretary of that party, our party PDP, insist that the court order must be vacated so that the APC people, who are no longer lawmakers, can illegally carry a kangaroo impeachment. Even though nobody is going to succeed in removing Governor Simlaya Fubara. That is impossible. But you need to understand the level of desperation the level of political madness, the level of political seller that a political party, like a father selling at his son, in return for what? In return for what, I'm asking. This plot is not an isolated incident. A similar scenario is playing out in several other cases before the Court of Appeal, Federal High Court and State High Court in Abuja and Port Harcourt. In each of these cases, the same pattern is evident. Mr. Damago and Mr. Anyangu are using their positions to interfere with the legal process in a way that is detrimental to the PDP. Gentlemen, the actions of the PDP national chairman and secretary has far-reaching implications for our party. If allowed to continue, these actions could lead to the following consequences. Erosion of internal democracy. The PDP has always prided itself on being a party that upholds democratic values both within its internal structures and in its approach to governance. However, this plot represents a direct assault on the internal democracy of our party. By undermining the authority of the party and that of the national legal advisor and interfering in legal matters without proper authorization, the PDP national chairman and secretary are eroding the democratic principles that have been the foundation of our party. Fragmentation of the party. One of the most immediate risks is the fragmentation of the party. The actions of the PDP national chairman and secretary are sowing the seed of division within our ranks. If these divisions are allowed to deepen, they could lead to splinter groups 
forming, weakening the PDP ability to present a united front in future elections and political engagement. Loss of public confidence, trust. The PDP has built a reputation as a party that stands with the people, fights for the people, and upholds the rule of law. However, if the public perceives that the PDP is being manipulated by a few individuals for their own gain, this trust will be eroded. The Nigerian people will no longer see the PDP as a credible alternative to the ruling party, which could have devastating effect on our electoral prospects. The legal implication of this appeal could also have significant financial costs for the PDP. Prolonged litigation not only drains the party resources, but also distracts from more pressing issues that require our attention. Furthermore, if the court rules unfavorably, the PDP could be subjected to further legal challenges and penalties which would only compound our problem. The action of the PDP National Chairman, Omar Damagu, and National Secretary are in clear violation of the PDP Constitution. The Constitution grants the National Legal Advisor the freedom and independence to defend the party where necessary and to withdraw frivolous and malicious suits. By interfering in the legal process and undermining the authority of the legal advisor, the PDP National Chairman and Secretary are acting outside the bounds of their constitutional power. Gentlemen, after exposing the alarming details of the plot orchestrated by different individuals within our ranks to undermine the PDP, we must outline a clear and decisive path forward, the future of our party and the preservation of democratic principle in Nigeria depend on our actions in response to this great act of betrayal of the party. First, reaffirming the authority of the National Legal Advisor. The first and most urgent step is for the expanded leadership of the party to meet immediately. To reaffirm the authority of the PDP National Legal Advisor, Mr. Ajibo de SAN, as enshrined in our party constitution. The Legal Advisor holds the exclusive mandate to manage all legal affairs of the party, including the power to file and withdraw legal suits on behalf of the party. We must ensure that the National Legal Advisor is allowed to exercise his duties without interference from the National Chairman, the National Secretary, or any other party official. To this end, the PDP must publicly state this and reassert that authority of the National Legal Advisor. The party must send a directive to all party officials emphasizing that any attempt to override or countermine the National Legal Advisor decision without due process will be made with this very action. Given the serious nature of the interference by the National Chairman and the National Secretary of PDP, the PDP must take immediate legal action to protect the integrity of our legal processes and prevent further damage to the party's interests. This includes filing an injunction, seeking an, seeking an injunction to restrain the National Chairman and National Secretary from further interfering in legal process handled by the National Legal Advisor. This will prevent any further unauthorized action such as the one witnessed with the appeal.